This is the video version of the scouting report written on Maxwell Muncie by Jake Tillinghast on our website prospectsworldwide.com. Please visit our website if this interests you. Not to be confused with Dodgers infielder Max Muncie, whom Maxwell shares not only a name but a birthday as well with the Dodgers star, but these two have some differences when they step on the field. Muncie is one of the better shortstop prospects in the class as well as the state of California. His calling card is unquestionably his incredible approach at the plate and feel for the barrel to all fields, not something you see often from a high school hitter. For his hit, he has an outstanding approach, bat control, and feel for the barrel. He has plus bat speed, and a line-to-line -line approach that goes with the pitch with hard contact consistently as good as any in the class. Muncie can handle a velo in any quadrant of the zone. A 300 hitter is not out of the question here. The California native's raw power shows impressive bat speed and a spine tilt with consistent vertical bat angles. Muncie consistently produces exit velos over 100 plus miles per hour to all fields with the boy bats. His game power shows power to all fields with carry consistently with minimal fall off. There is 20 plus home run potential. On to his plate discipline. Once he tracks pitches well and keeps the weight and hands back with ease using right field. He projects for 12 to 15% walk rates. On the field he has the ability to stick at shortstop. He has more range up the middle than the hole and plays the hops well. He may fit best at third base long term once he's fully developed. The shortstop has an accurate arm. He winds up on throws from short with long arm action. He has quick transfer and double plays, and he can make the long throws. For his run, he's been clocked at 6.8 seconds on his 6 yard dash. His stolen base time to second base has been clocked at 3.7 seconds. He's an aggressive base runner, potential for 5 to 8 stolen bases yearly. Now for his batting stance, he has a slightly open one. He has a high back elbow and loose wrist with bent knees. He's got a leg kick and load synced together on time and efficiently. He keeps his weight back when he's fooled. Muncie has great makeup and projection remaining to add 10 plus pounds to his frame. He's got a high waist, long legs, strong arms, and a strong upper body with a similar body type to Chris Taylor. For his strengths, he's got leadership qualities. He's a good athlete with a fantastic approach at the plate with plus back control and potential to be a 300 hitter with some pop and a good plate discipline. He also has the ability to play many positions. For Muncie's weaknesses, he may eventually slide off shortstop and will likely end up an above average defender at third or second base. He also has long throwing motion at times. Maxwell Muncie has good makeup, a good work ethic, and plays the game hard and is as good a pure hitter as there is in the class. He's a top of the order talent with a fantastic approach at the plate, with good plate to discipline, feel for wood, and consistent barrels. He will hit for a high average and is capable of turning in 300 plus seasons with league average power numbers and a high amount of extra base hits along the way, using the entire field with relative ease. The Arkansas commit is capable of playing shortstop, third base, and second base in an average rate or better rate, and may best fit third base long term. Expect Muncie to come off the board somewhere in the second to fourth rounds. If he improves himself worthy of sticking in shortstop through his senior year, he may lock himself into that second round range. His best in will comp is former Texas Rangers shortstop Michael Young, and he is 2021 draft eligible. Again, to read the full scouting report written by Jake Tillinghast, please visit our website www.prospectsworldwide.com. I'm Austin Farmer, and thanks for watching the video version of the scouting report on Maxwell Muncie.